What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out a bunch of new Yosinju support cards that just got revealed. These are going to be released in Rising Rampage. If you guys remember, about, what, two weeks ago, I talked about a new Yosinju trap also coming out in this set. That was Weasel Blade Win. It's a good enough card, um, like a good defensive card for Yosinjus. But I did say in that video it was not going to be enough to, you know, really change the fortunes of Yosinju from a competitive standpoint. But Konami is giving them a bunch of support in this set, or at least five new cards in this set so let's go ahead and break down the new yosinjus and these cards are I, I guess supposed to be played with the old yosinju because these cards do not have the additional normal summon effect like the uh the commas that we're used to these guys kind of benefit off of being additionally normal summon so the first one is yosinju saburukaze and um i like the artwork because it reminds me of sawatari he's the guy who played um <laughs> he played yosinjus in the Yu-Gi-Oh art v anime if any of you guys have seen art v anyway it's a uh, level four it's wind and it's a beast warrior obviously you know that's the standard for yosinju 1700 attack 400 defense the first and second effects are both hard once per turn. The first effect says if you control another Yosinju card, when this card is normal summon, you can add one Yosinju Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. Second effect says you can target one Yosinju card you control, place one Dizzying Winds of Yosin Village or Yosin Whirlwind from your deck face up in your Spell and Trap zone. And if you do return the first targeted card to the deck, that the third effect is once per turn during the end phase. If this card was normal summon, return it to the hand. So as I said before, these are not cards that give you the additional normal summons of Yosinju monsters, but you can see that this card obviously benefits when you do summon it off of one of your commas because if you do that then this guy gets to he gets to add a pendulum they'll send you monster straight from your uh, deck to your hand um there is a new pendulum card that we will talk about in a moment but you know even without that i think the yosinju scale l uh, the one that gives you protection from battle and card destruction it's not terrible also you could play secret um secret move with it so it was never like completely terrible that second effect i do not like at all because like yes it gets you dizzying winds of yosin village and you know yosin whirlwind cards that were not technically yos like they didn't have yosinju in the name so they weren't exactly like searchable the problem is even though these cards are fairly easy to get now the cards themselves are just god awful so i would definitely not run them even though i can get to them a lot easier now next up is yosinju izanamuchi this is also a level four wind beast warrior monster 800 attack and 1200 defense just like the last guy the first and second effects of uh, izanamuchi are both hard once per turn first effect says you can discard this card that is the cause during this turn your opponent's cards and effects cannot activate when a yosin Yosinju monster is normal or special summon. So basically, this just kind of makes it so that your opponent can't stop you from a get uh, from getting those additional normals. They can't use things like Effect Veiler or Widow Anchor. They just can't like respond to your summons. They cannot use a Solemn Strike if you're trying to like activate the effect. Not terrible, but you know that's a neg one effect. The second effect I think is significantly better in my opinion. The second effect says if you control another Yosinju monster, you can activate this effect, draw one card. That's kind of nice. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That actually is uh, pretty good because basically you just summon this off of one of your other commas and you just get a free plus one and then maybe you can like go into an XC play or something like that. Third effect says is, well, third effect is just the basic yo send you them kind of being like unofficial spirit monsters. Once returned during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned, return it to the hand. You expect that from pretty much all the yo send you monsters. I don't think Konami is going to change that about the deck at this point. Next up, we have the brand new yo send you boss monster. This is the pendulum card I was talking about. I think it's supposed to be like a new version of Yosinju Dieback, the old Pendulum boss that nobody ever ran because it was too hard to summon. Anyways, this is my Yosinju. Um, I'm going to butcher this last part of the name, but I'll try my best. Hito Samuraji. Um, I, I probably like butchered that, but whatever. It's a level 10 Wind Beast Monster. Pendulum, of course. 2,000 attack, 3,000 defense, and it has a Pendulum scale of 3. It has multiple monster effects and multiple Pendulum scale effects, and all the Pendulum effects are hard once per turn. The first effect, of, a, of the pendulum part of it is target one you send you card in your pendulum zone until the end of the turn its scale is 11 but you cannot special summon monsters this turn except you'll send you monsters so basically they're just opening the door or leaving the door open for you to you know pendulum summon high level monsters and you'll send you i really don't think people are going to run a bunch of high level monsters but you'll send you do have them so i guess that's what they want you to do second effect during your end phase return this card to the hand so at least it's not susceptible 
to your opponent's destruction during their turn. I mean, it bounces itself to the hand, so that's kind of nice. Maybe you want to put it in the scale and then, I don't know, do something later with it, maybe a Twin Twister or something. The first monster effect says you cannot, or this card cannot be special summoned except by Pendulum Summon. It then continues to say, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one card your opponent controls, return that card to the hand. That's not bad. Basically like an, an evac device for one of your opponent's cards. Second effect says each time another card returns to the hand or deck by the effect of a card you control, all your send you monsters gain 500 attack. And then the final monster effect says once per turn during the, during the end phase, if this card was special summon this turn, return it to the hand. Honestly, this entire card feels kind of lackluster to me. I mean, basically, it's just like dieback. It's incredibly difficult to summon. Yes, it is now super searchable with the first Yosinju monster we talked about, but that doesn't mean you're going to have two skills. Like, you still have to have two skills to pendulum summon this because that's the only way you can special summon. I mean, sure, you can normal summon it, but who the fuck would ever want to do that? All you're basically getting is a bounce out of this card, and it doesn't even stay on the field. It returns itself. So I just am not a fan of this. I feel like people are probably not going to play it. Then we have a new Yosinju draw card that was <laughs> whoever designed this card. Oh lord, they seriously missed the mark. This is Yosinju Win Ritual. It's a quick play spell, and it says activate, or you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn. So basically, a hard once per turn. If you control three or more Yosinju monster cards with different names, return all Yosinju monsters you control to the hand. Then you can draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Some people are gonna look at this. And they're going to see that effect and they're gonna, their eyes are going to get real big like, oh, snap, Cap, you get to draw until you have five cards. This card is definitely not good in my book and I feel like it is completely obvious why it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's the fact that you have to return your Yosinju monsters back to your hand. I mean, that just kind of conflicts with the whole draw until you have five. Like, really, how much are you getting out of this if you have to return three Yosinju monsters to your hand and then you're drawing until you have five? So, basically, you're just going to draw a maximum of two cards every time you activate this and yeah that looks good on paper like ah cap is a draw too but think about it like in today's landscape of Yu-Gi-Oh, all of these anti-meta and or stun control decks like they all have the ability to either run card of demise which can be a draw three and um, is significantly more consistent than this or they can just run pot of extravagance and uh, yo senju definitely like historically uh, card of demise has always been good in the deck because you can resolve card of demise first and then you can bounce the yo senju monsters back to your hand and discard essentially nothing so i don't really understand why you'd want to use this card and if you're going to go second as yosinjus generally do they generally blind second you have an even bigger problem because now you have to use this card basically in um the main phase too because you wouldn't want to just summon your yosinju monsters then bounce them right back to your hand to draw okay now you're getting you're not getting anything out of the battle phase like that doesn't really seem like it's productive at all so this is a card that i think is just honestly bad you could even make an argument or I guess you could make a bad argument that if you were going first, like if your opponent forced you to go first, it would be a nice draw too. But my counter to that argument would be, how's that better than Pot of Extravagance or Card of the Mize? Cards that could easily work in Yosinju's and just be significantly better in all situations. Like I just feel like, um, you know, we have access to those other cards. This card is not going to be necessary at all. And I know that this might not be like a popular opinion because I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade. But honestly, I am so disappointed in this Yosinju support. If you told me that Yosinju's were going to get five new cards and Rising Rampage, they were going to get a new boss monster, some new um, main deck monsters, a new spell card, I'd have been like, oh, that's cool. They're going to get a new trap card, all this stuff. But I really feel like these were not made up to the standards of 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, let's be real. Do you think that these cards are even better than the original batch of Yosinju cards? Which I don't think so. And for those of you guys who don't know, Yosinju's actually topped multiple regionals. Like, they made top eight at multiple regionals in 2015 i don't see how this changes anything about the archetype and i feel like the old support is actually better than this new stuff despite the fact that it's four years older i mean it felt like konami just like instinctively or did maybe in spite like didn't give yosinjus what they need why don't yosinjus have a rank four seriously i mean all the old monsters that are good are level four these new cards a couple of them are level four as well why not just give yosinjus a rank four which they clearly need yosinjus don't even need a link monster they just need a fucking 
looking rank four that would make a lot of sense you know they give it this new um draw spell which looks really nice on paper it looks like it has a high ceiling but it's not practical at all and we already have like a billion draw twos and Yu-Gi-Oh already i don't know I'm, I'm so deflated by this support because i think this is some of the worst legacy support that we've gotten in a very long time but maybe i'm just in the minority with that uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos